she was, she heard that Neil said that oral estradiol for menopausal women provides more cardioprotective benefits than either vaginal or injectable applications. Okay. Is that true? I don't know if you said that or not. That's what apparently he, she he, heard. He, no, no, no. Logically, I, I would think once the estradiol gets in, the effect would be yes. the same. Okay. I, 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 then I only scare two people in the world. The rest, I don't care. I'm, yes, I'm one care. of them. Who's the other guy? Neil is one, and the other one is a guy named Maro Di Pasquale. I don't know. Uh, thankfully, thankfully, both of them, Maro is from Canada, actually, as you know. Thankfully, both of them are good friends of mine. Um, I will I gotta say, get Mario on one day. What? I got to get Di Pasquale on one day. Yes, actually, Maro is on my... Maro told me seven years ago that he didn't want to talk to anybody. And I was like, why? Uh, you, you got to talk to people. Your knowledge has to be passed on. And he said, Eric, they're, the people are getting stupider than ever. And my patience is not what it was. And I do not want to deal with it. And I was saying how rolling was... And I would never get like that, blah, 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 blah. Well, shit. I'm flying, <laughs> the, I'm flying on the same plane he is, and it pisses me off. I had to call him. Yes, you were right. Uh, yes, Neil is correct, but let me explain why, because I, I, I need to answer that. A lot of physicians equal routes, right? Remember, oral versus, versus whatever, cream injections, or vaginal or whatever, to is estrogen. Now, Neil is saying that because the research that he has collected, which I have a lot of it, and I even said we change papers almost every day, shows that the oral one is the always the one that has shown to prevent cardiovascular disease. Only the oral application. The oral, the, I'm talking about the pill, the oral right. pill. Okay. The estrogen on, bio, on the cream, right? And the vaginal cream have not shown, or they haven't done, well, I take it back. There's one study that is kind of weak. I read it, that show that the cream had some cardiovascular protection, but they use cholesterol, which does cholesterol really does anything to your cardiovascular disease? No, it doesn't. And, and estrogen lowers LDL. Yes, for those people out there, testosterone does increases LDL if you use injections, but if you use bio identical cream, Danny, it doesn't do it as bad. You better look at your own levels yourself. You see that. Mm -hmm. okay. Guys, by the way, Neil told me straight out for, for men that have issues with cholesterol, with lipids, he's actually prescribing estradiol to okay. improve their lipid profile. Why? Did he explain to you why? Because it okay. has a beneficial impact on lipids? No, 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 no. I want to always explain this. Always sign. I did a master's. My master was in exercise. Well, I didn't finish it. So I don't want people to say you know, I had three more credits and I didn't want to go back from medical school to finish it. But I always like to look at why. Okay. Now, estrogen is made out of what molecule? What's the, what's the, what's the parent molecule? Cholesterol, right? So I would say high cholesterol. I want you guys to listen for the first time here. High cholesterol is a symptom of low hormone. Okay. So if I put a person on testosterone or estrogen or progesterone, their cholesterol usually will come down. Why is that? Because the body wants to make cholesterol to have a function. For example, and this is a cool case. I had a person that the cholesterol was 271, right? And they wanted to put it on cholesterol medication. His vitamin D was only 12, right? Oof. I put on vitamin D. Now you guys are going to ship bricks when I tell you. I put on 20,000 I use a day, right? I waited six weeks, six weeks, and I checked this guy's cholesterol. It was 201. Why is that? Because the body knows, the body knows that it needs cholesterol to make something. So this guy was making vitamin D, I mean, making cholesterol to be able to make vitamin D, but he wasn't doing it because he was not on the sunlight. He wasn't doing it anywhere. So the body says, do we need vitamin D? I'm going to make cholesterol so you can make your vitamin D. Are you guys understanding what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I need cholesterol to make vitamin D, so I'm going to make cholesterol, but you're not doing what I'm asking you to do because I'm missing whatever, zinc, selenium, something. And that's what happens. The same way when I have somebody that have very low testosterone levels, they have high, high cholesterol levels, I put on testosterone and the, and the cholesterol levels go down. So Neil is correct. Yes, the reason estrogen brings down cholesterol is because the end point of the route, meaning 
testosterone gets converted to estrogen, and that's usually, quote unquote, it's not the end point, but it's almost the end point. And that's why the body reads, oh shit, I have the estrogen. I got to lower my cholesterol production because I'm making what I need. Now, I do not look at only at hormones because I have to look at other things. I need to look at the gallbladder. I need to look at vitamin D. What's going on? What's the boy? Is the guy taking vitamin K? I got to look at all those things. By the way, I never give vitamin D without vitamin K in, for those people out there. And so that is the reason why Neil is correct. I need to make cholesterol so I can make estrogen. And then all of a sudden, I put you in estrogen and lowers your test, your uh, cholesterol levels. Okay. Got it. Mizumi is the number one product for acne problems on TRT. Check out the products using the link in the description under this video.